it's like at which point so after he started training with you um at which point did you realize that Israel was different or there was did you see that there was something different about him his first fight with us straight away I'd had paid for him and stuff and trained him for the fight but mm. when I'd never seen him fight and when he had except for that one MMA fight which I was cornering him in which, which he didn't do well so, so it was the first fight he had for the gym mm. and um, he was <laughs> I think that fight's on video on YouTube but <laughs> he was very like uh, he was very raw like he was very rough there wasn't like a hell of a lot of technique and there wasn't a hell of a lot of structure to what he was doing and he didn't know why he was doing most of the things he was doing um but you could see the natural talent you could see the natural flair and you could see some of the um natural physicality that he had and that's when i first had an inkling that he could be a really good um, combat sports athlete but i've I, I, I was also in the game long enough at that point to know that uh, people like that come through the door all the time. And it doesn't mean nothing. It mm -hmm. means absolutely zilch. How much physical talent you've got, how much athleticism means nothing. Because if you don't have anything mentally, it all amounts to nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and and that's what that's what took me longer to learn about him. And that's what we... And, and that's what... To be honest, I had to go about teaching him some of that because just sometimes that, that, that doesn't all come naturally. Like you have to learn and you have to teach it and he had to learn about it and he had to teach it. He's a guy that introspects a lot and watches other fighters and talks about mindset and pulls stuff from other fighters and brings into his own mindset. That was stuff we had to learn and develop. Mm. I see. It's pretty interesting. So fast forward to how long has it been since you um, first came across paths with uh, Israel? Uh, I need to Nine, find, ten years, maybe? I don't know. I need to find the answer to the question. <laughs> mm. I, I honestly, several people have asked me that. I just don't know. Yeah. But okay. yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to say. It's definitely more, been a long time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we, we kind of talked about like, you know, where he has got. Uh, to now and um, so just touch a little bit on that um, with currently what he's doing and what that you know or your side of what the team thinks is like the next step for him mm -hmm. uh, was it kind of your uh, so he obviously it's been announced that he will move up to um, 205 and fight mm -hmm. for the light heavyweight title um was it um, your idea, the team's idea, or was it just something that he wanted? Mm. Uh, look, I'm going to say that as soon as Jan won it, that idea, I was already watching that fight to see who, <laughs> to see who won it. Um, and I, I, I thought that if Blakovic won it, I thought that style that Blakovic has would be a really good style for Israel's mm. style. And so I wasn't paying attention to it because I had a lot to, to deal with myself. But and, and leading up to that fight, I was thinking to myself, well, this is going to be a very interesting fight. And if Jan won it, that could be good for us. So I already had the idea planted in my head. Um. But not really. Put, I wasn't didn't put it out there or anything. Um, so when he won, uh, for me it was very encouraging. I was like, "There's, there's an idea though." But I've yeah, got to, I've got to deal with my with the fight. I've got an, on my hands now, which, yeah. was, which was Costa. Mm. And then obviously the Costa fight went really well. And um, it was an. I mean, just to, <laughs> sorry to interrupt, but that yeah. was an amazing fight. That was an excellent plan mm. that you guys had in place. Yeah, perfectly executed. Minimal damage. Mm. Nah, yeah, the fight went well. The fight, <laughs> uh, the fight, yeah, the fight couldn't have gone any any better. But yeah, with the Yarn fight going the way we it went, and the Israel fight going the way it went, that kind of led me to the to 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 the, my initial thought was that that could be a very real possibility. Um, 
And so I think the next day, me and the team got together, um, uh, the managers, which is a uh, shout out to uh, Ash James and Tim Simpson, um, best managers in the world at Ooh. the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, we I, we started to talk about it and then we went and talked to the matchmaker and the UFC mm. showed some interest in it. So, yeah. Hey, Ian, yeah. don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Yeah, but, um, what's what's pretty interesting is I think just yesterday or two days ago, because um, is uh, Israel actually went on the Ariel Hawani show, and right after him was uh, Jan. And um, what was interesting was uh, what Jan was saying that he believes that he is a tougher fight for Israel compared to John Jones. What is your thoughts on that? That's a very it's a, it's a, a to be honest it's a difficult question mm -hmm. but definitely where Jan look this is I will not I will in any way completely let's remove any thought that we think that is, this is going to be an easy fight and mm -hmm. that's why we took it 100% that's not the reason we took it. Definitely. We took it because we see certain things that uh, certain things that we can take advantage of and we can it's, and for us they're glaringly obvious. Mm -hmm. um, more glaringly obvious than if like Rios had won it or someone else had won it. Okay? The other reason we took it because there's certain things that we see that uh, Blackie, which does, which uh, he either does to the same level or to similar degrees that Jones does. <clears throat> I don't want to get wrapped up in saying that we're taking this fight as a lead into the Jones fight, but as a coach, before we fight John Jones, and I'm not, I don't know who's the better fighter out of Blackie and John Jones. I don't know because it hasn't happened, so we can't really yes, tell. But Jones has the pedigree on paper at the moment that clearly looks like he is by far the better fighter than Blakowicz. Mm. If if in a perfect scenario I I could have a fight at 205 before I fought what uh, someone with the pedigree of John Jones, if I could have a fight before we fought John Jones at 205, which is never normally afforded to someone who another champion who's going up in weight, when have you ever seen another champion go up and wait in MMA and have like a fight before they fought the champion. Mm. You get matched up with the champion. You go up a weight, you get matched up with the champion straight, straight away. away. Mm. You don't get a chance to adjust to the weight. You don't get like a dry run. You're straight in there, right? If this opportunity can be afforded to us to have this one fight at 205, even though it's not actually, it's we're not, it wouldn't be a warm-up fight. We're fighting for the title. Mm. But to have one run at 205 before we fought John Jones, as a from a coaching perspective, perfect. In boxing, that's what happens. You go up and wait. In boxing, they do it a bit differently. Obviously, you fight two guys who you're definitely meant to beat. Yeah. But what they're doing is they're adjusting to the weight, they're adjusting to the speed, they're adjusting to the, you know, to everything to do with the weight above them. That that doesn't get afforded to us in MMA. You have to go straight up and fight the champion. Mm. But now we've got a little opportunity here to um, fight for the title. And one of the one of the kind of extra benefits, if you like, side benefits, is that we get to have that run at two hundred five before we take on someone with John Jones's, with someone like John Jones and his pedigree. So, would you say the the first fight? <laughs> will be, well, which is set to happen, will be the first one will be against Jan Blahovic and then the right the next fight after that, you reckon most probably is going to be with John? I'm not sure. Mm. Because why I'm not sure is because I think by then, mm. middleweight will need sorting out again. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think by the time the Blackwoods fights and all things going well, I think the middleweight division will be ready for Israel to defend again. Yeah, because one of the things that uh, Israel actually talks about a lot is not holding up the division. Yeah. 
So he and he wants to stay active, which I think it kind of works out really well. Like if he mm. can get like, for example, three fights in next year, then that would be an ideal situation. I think what's likely to happen is that mm. Blackowitch um cut weight down to middleweight and then John Jones. Uh, that seems to be the way it's panning out. But uh, I mean, it's all hearsay at the moment. It's in the very early stages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and see you on the next one.